Michelle Edwards here with Trial Head Accounting Solutions. Thanks for watching. So yesterday I was reading an article from the AICPA and they were quoting some statistics from SageWorks had done a study on small business owners and how much money they had tied up in accounts receivable. And I couldn't believe it. It said nearly at least 40% of small business assets are tied up in accounts receivable. And that is huge. As a small business owner, I know personally that I need that cash. You know, I need it to buy supplies. I need it to pay my employees. I need it to grow my business. And I need it to pay myself. So that's a huge number to have tied up in accounts receivable. So today I want to run you through four quick steps on how to help lower that accounts receivable number. So number one, first, just be in touch with your customers. A simple phone call or sending statements once a month, um, just reminding them that they owe you money, sometimes will just be enough to have them send you a check. So, you know, I typically recommend to my clients to send statements around the first of the month, do it every month, be consistent with it, and then if you don't receive payment around the 15th of the month, get, pick up the phone and give them a call. It can just be simple as, hey, just checking in to see when I can expect payment. Thanks so much for your business. I really appreciate it. Let me know if I can help you in the future. And just reaching out and talking with them just kind of reminds them that they owe you money and usually you'll get a check right away. Um, second, look at your credit policy. You know, not every customer needs to be treated equally. You know, you've got some mom and pops that might be able to pay your bill within 10 days, 20 days, rather than the 30 to 45 day window that you have to offer to the larger corporations. Um, you know, different if it's a new customer, maybe you charge them upon receipt rather than giving them a credit line. Um, you know, you could take retainers, charge half up front, half when you deliver the goods. So many different options that you can do. Um, third, along that line, is charge late fees. Don't be afraid to charge a late fee. I know it kind of seems mean and it's, I hate to do it myself, but, you know, if they know that it's going to cost them money by not paying you on time, Usually it'll get you a check sooner than the other guy down the road that doesn't charge a late fee. Um, and then finally, step number four is make sure that your invoices are correct. You know, I know I'm guilty of it. If I receive an invoice that's wrong, oh, it's an extra hassle and it takes more time for me to have to go and call and figure out what's going on with this. Whereas if they just send it right, I can just pay it, send a check and be done. So sometimes just simple double checking your work, double checking your invoices and make sure they were sent out correctly will help you out. So I hope that helps you collect your receivables sooner and get more cash on hand because as we all know, cash is king. Thanks so much for listening and I hope you have a great week. If you need help with your accounts receivable, I'm available to help you out. Um, I can be reached at 720-295-4272 or through email at info at trailheadaccounting.com or check out my website www.trailheadaccounting.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.